Welcome back to my YouTube channel, friends. Today, I'm showing you how I took this photo and made it look like this. So let's do it. Before we get into the Photoshop tutorial today, I just wanna say I've been absolutely loving the Switch over to PC for all my photo and video edits. These HP machines are absolute beasts. And what I've actually really been loving is this 31 inch dream color monitor. The colors are seriously so bright and so vivid. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love to work with colors. And so having an accurate representation of what the colors are gonna look like and how they're gonna translate over to my phone and when I post, it's all really crucial to my creative process and how my art looks. Let's get into today's Photoshop tutorial and let me start by explaining some of my thought process before taking the image. So in terms of location, I definitely knew I wanted to go up to the mountains, find somewhere nice and foresty with those moody greens. And Allie and I live in Tucson, Arizona, so we're about an hour, hour and a half away from Mount Lemmon, which is the closest mountain and the closest place to get this kind of location. So we got up the mountain and I found the perfect spot to take this photo. I had previously bought some yellow flowers that I was gonna have Allie drop into my hand while I was taking the photo. So I took the photos, headed down the mountain, and got to editing. So with all the Lightroom edited photos here in Photoshop, let me explain how I took flowers from different outtakes and put them into the main image I was using. So with this being the main image here and all my outtakes next to it, the very first thing I did was create a new layer here on the main image. And let's go ahead and start with this image here. And we're gonna go to our clone stamp tool. How about we use this flower here? And by hitting Alt and clicking, you can select this part of the image Go back here to the main image. Let's go ahead and stamp it right here. Again, I'm stamping this onto the new layer, layer one here, so that if I go to the select tool, I can move this around and even reshape it, resize it how I want. So I did this a number of times, all on different layers. So let's say I like that flower there. Went ahead, created a new layer. Let's find another outtake here. We're gonna do the same thing. Clone stamp, make sure your clone stamp is set to 0% hardness, 100% opacity. Select this part of the flower, again, Alt click on the outtake, go back to the main image, make sure your layer two is selected, and where should we put this little guy? How about we put him right here? Now you can see the edges on this definitely do not work with the background placement. So we're gonna go back to our eraser tool and clean up all of those edges. This is a really important step, but it'll really help sell the final product and making these flowers fit naturally into the image. So this process took me probably about 30 to 40 minutes of pulling the different flowers, different little petals into the main image, resizing them, cleaning up the edges. I had probably about I think 15 or 16 different layers to where I got it to where I was happy. Okay, now I've got all the flowers exactly where I want them in the image. As you can see here, I've grouped them. That's with no added flowers, and here we've got quite a few. So here's what I did to change the color of these flowers. Being that each of the flowers is on their own layer, I can simply select the layer and change that individual color. So let's go ahead and start with this layer right here. We're gonna go to Adjustments, and we're gonna click Hue Saturation. Now the important thing here is that this box is checked on so that any changes I make only affect this layer here. So with the hue saturation adjustment on the layer, I'm gonna click down on the master and let's go to yellows and we're just gonna adjust this slider until we like the color that it is. And let's move it over here to a nice red. I actually really like that. I've only changed the yellow hues on this specific layer. So all the other colors have been left untouched. I think there's a little red in here. We 
can mess with that. If we want it to go a little more pinkish, or add some purple in there, we could. I'm just gonna move it over a little bit, and there you go, look at that. We went from yellow to red. This was honestly a really fun part of this editing process because I can really experiment and get creative with this. So here's what the flowers look like with all of my different color adjustments on. Bam, and just like that, we've got some red flowers in here, purple flowers, blue, green, and of course yellow stayed in there as well. Keeping these flowers on their own layers will really help you make those specific adjustments. You just add the hue saturation adjustment, make sure the little box is checked so it only affects that layer, and get creative with it. So there you go, you just learned how to change colors in Photoshop, take stuff from one outtake of a photo shoot, put it into another, super easy, right? I definitely hope you're inspired by this. Go try it, get creative with it. And honestly, this dream color display is an absolute game changer, especially doing these kinds of edits where you really need a display that has bright, vivid, and accurate colors. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment below on your thoughts, and definitely subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting out more photography tutorial stuff, so stay tuned. I'll see you on the next video, guys, all right? Peace.